Hello and welcome to Emma Reads Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash ask reddit. But first let's play r slash drunk or a kid, where I give you a real life scenario and you guess whether it was drunk or a kid. This one was posted by Parana Conda. Try to scooter across a cobblestone road, flipped over the handlebars. But was this drunk or a kid? Find out at the end of the video. This was posted by Nuclear Winter Games. What's the most ridiculous reason for which you've been dumped? I bought my girlfriend one of the World of Warcraft expansion packs for her birthday. She started playing again, like she really got into it and I hardly saw her. She'd play all night and would come to bed as I was getting up. To be clear, that made me want to dump her. But what ended up happening was she started playing with her ex and it apparently rekindled their feelings for each other because she dumped me after a couple of weeks of this shit and got back with him. But by that time he'd moved away so the relationship was entirely limited to playing questing or some shit and then they broke up again after like a month of this. At the time it was horrible but now I can't help but laugh. Too long didn't read? Ex dumped me for a mage. My ex cat was named Ben. The girl I was dating's cat was named Bundles. One day I called Bundles Ben. She asked me what I just called her cat. I thought about it and then remembered that was my ex cat's name. I laughed and told her and she was super unimpressed. Broke up with me the next day. We have to break up. I mean, we can't even get married. You're allergic to fish. She chose the occasional tuna sandwich over me. I laughed and still tell the story, so I guess it's a win. I love you so much and want to spend the rest of my life with you. We have to break up. If it's really meant to be, then we will end up together again like they do in the movies. I got dumped because the headlights on my car didn't come on automatically when I started my car. I'm assuming he had other reasons, but this is what I was told. And I love laughing at it. College girlfriend's dad won $1 million in the state lottery over winter break, broke up with me over the phone telling me, now that I'm rich, I can't afford to date regular people like you. That's really the only thing wrong. You're just regular. She found out the truck I was driving was owned by my mom. Guess it was a dump truck. I was too clingy. She got mad every time I hung out with anyone that wasn't her. The guy I was dating broke up with me because he had family problems. I was like, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm here if you need me. Two days later, I found out he lied and asked out one of my best friends and she said yes. About a week later, I asked him why he dumped me and he left me on red. God, he could have had the decency to respond. After going out with this guy for six months, I asked him if we were dating and he immediately ghosted me. I don't feel a spark of anything when we kiss anymore. At that time, I got hit in the mouth with a bat and couldn't kiss her for the past month. If you didn't want to be with me, just say it or at least come up with a better lie to dump me over. Can I do the most ridiculous reasons that I've had to dump someone? Started dating this girl, she's like 29 with a master's degree, really sweet and cute, so I'm excited about the potential. On our third date, we were driving to a late night event at a science museum and she asked me what I was most excited about seeing and I said I've always enjoyed the dinosaur fossils and she said oh and got really quiet after five seconds of silence i asked her if she didn't like dinosaurs or something and she said it's not that it's more than well i'm not sure how i feel about dinosaurs which led me to ask um by feel you mean you and she said well i'm just not sure if they're real i look over quizzically she continues like they're not mentioned in the Bible, so I don't know if they existed. I tried to get through the night, and to be fair, there were some decent jokes. When we walked into the natural sciences wing, there was a picture of Darwin on the wall, and she said, Hey look, there's your best friend. And later, we were standing in front of a skeleton of a raccoon, and I said, So just to be clear, your position on raccoons is yes? No? Maybe? She was a pretty nice girl, and we had fun on the first two dates, so I tried to tough it out, but the dinosaur thing just ate at me for days. Like, a week later, I called her from the office, and this was our conversation. Me, look, we've got to talk. I don't think this is going to work for me. Ten seconds of silence. Her. It's the dinosaur thing, isn't it? Me. Yeah. Yeah. 
it's the dinosaur thing. The girl told me she thought this boy who she had a crush on for a long time was going to ask her out. She said this to me, her then boyfriend. One of my exes dumped me saying that he wanted to be like Paul from the Bible. He was of course referring to Paul being single and abstinent, but the kicker is about a month later he had a new girlfriend. I wish I still had the text. Long story short, she was mad I didn't grab her ass in public on our first date. I actually had a guy dump me because I'm a carpenter and according to him, it's just not ladylike. Bullet dodged. Not me, but one of my friends who's a senior in high school got dumped by her boyfriend who she dated for almost two years. He dumped her because he didn't want to go to the school dance. A few days later, he texted her to tell her that he wanted to get back together, but she declined. He could have just told her that he didn't want to go and still be with her or just go to the stupid dance. I'm a Gemini. He dumped me because I cheated on him. In his dream. God told me not to date you. I'm sorry. Guess what? This happened twice. With two different girls. I said love you. She got mad I forgot the I. Dumped might be extreme, but on a first date, girl asked me to go buy her popcorn, literally as the movie started. So I did. Whispered as I was getting up. You want butter on that? Brought it back and she says, is there butter on this? I said, yes. I asked and you said, yeah. And she said, no. I specifically said, nah. I thought she was joking or something. It was like a Seinfeld bit. So I said, well, maybe this just isn't going to work out. And she said, I think you're right. Thanks for nothing. And fucking left. But she took my popcorn. She should have thanked me for fucking that. Ugh. A girl I dated texted me that I wanted a relationship and she's not really up for that right now. It was actually because she was taller than me and was afraid of what people would think. I met my wife a week later. I'm not ready for a relationship. I thought it was a bad time to bring it up since we were engaged and had been together for almost two years. We were 14 and I wore a tank top for the first time in his presence. Turned out I had way more cleavage than he was comfortable with and he dumped me over the phone. I mean, when I was 19, a guy dumped me because my lips were too chapped. In the dead of winter. I suffer from eczema, so not much I can fucking do about dry lips and skin, bro. On the surface, it sounded okay. My girlfriend and I were kind of fizzling out, but when she dumped me, she said it was because I was not religious enough. She wanted to go to church every Sunday and for major religious holidays. I was okay with her going, but I was conflicted about religion at the time, so I didn't want to go. So that is what she said when she dumped me. Seems like a decent reason. What made it ridiculous is that about six months later, she was dating the president of the college atheist group. Dated exclusively for one and a half years. Dumped on Thanksgiving. He forgot to tell me he was getting married that weekend. We had been dated about a month and were carded at a bar. She looked at my ID and saw I was almost two months younger than her. She was mortified and said she doesn't date younger guys because of how immature they are. How ironic. We went out one more time and that was it. Dated a chick in my early 20s. We partied a lot at the time. One night, I refused to get into her car and go for the drive home since we were obliterated. She got upset, said, Fuck you. I'll be fine on my own. Receive a call from her 36 hours later. She'd been bailed out of jail already. This guy. You're a fucking asshole. It's your fault I went to jail. I'm breaking up with you. I hung up and giggled. Cunt. Women I dated before I met my wife had a fraternal twin brother. Early in our relationship, she took a weekend trip to go visit him and his girlfriend. The day before she left, things were great. The next Monday when she came back, she broke up with me. She said her twin brother convinced her that I wasn't right for her, even though he'd never met me. I was hurt and angry at first, but then realised that if she's letting her twin brother control her relationship to this extent, then I probably dodged a bullet and a lot of grief. Met my future wife a few months later, so it all worked out. My kindergarten boyfriend dumped me for another girl I lost a foot race to on the playground. I've always been super competitive, so I never forgot. I moved to a neighbouring school district in elementary school and by high school became a pretty decent runner. I eventually competed against and beat this girl at a track meet. There has never been a sweeter revenge. 100% she had no clue, but it didn't matter to me. Kinda dated a guy for a month. We hung out, did outdoorsy stuff. It was cool. 
Went to hang out at his place for the first time and met his roommate. We all played video games. He knew I was a gamer, but I think he thought I was only saying that to seem more cool as a chick or something. Dunno. Anyway, I beat him at every game we played. I wasn't overly competitive or boastful or anything, just beat him. Next thing I know, he's kind of ghosting me, before ghosting was really a thing. And then he had a mutual friend of ours tell me that he got kind of scared away because I wasn't feminine enough. Didn't hold her hand in the car at night during a storm on the way to dinner. I'd also never been to that area and was unfamiliar with it. On that night, she did me a favour by breaking it off. What a nut! I was going to end it the next day because of that being an issue, but she beat me to it, lol. Obviously we had some other issues, but that ultimately was the argument that ended things. I told him I didn't like Star Wars. He was really into it, and by that I mean he watches the movies very often and has every single one of the pop figures things related to Star Wars. Around the fifth time of watching a movie with him, I couldn't lie anymore and told him that Star Wars wasn't my thing and asked if we could watch something else. He freaked out and I ended up walking home because he was starting to throw things. In hindsight, him throwing things over me not liking something he did was probably a hint that he wasn't a great guy. I wouldn't eat tomatoes to prove I loved her. Obviously, I'm not a fan of tomatoes or that relationship. I had a girl stop talking to me because my texts were green since I didn't have an iPhone. Unbelievable. He said he didn't want to see me anymore because he didn't like that I played with a Ouija board when I was a kid. I interrupted him while he was watching Duck Dynasty. What a winner. Wait, you guys are getting reasons? Have you ever been dumped for ridiculous reasons? Or were you the dumpy? Tell me about it in the comments. Okay, back to r slash drunk or a kid. So who was the person who went over the scooter handlebars? It was... A drunk. Woke up with dry blood in my hair the next morning. Gross. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed what you have heard, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of the daily content from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow.